My first Lego game on the Xbox was Lego Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. That game's so much fun too, dude. That was the first one they added the actual voice actors instead of them just mumbling. Yeah. But deal. I also played that game when we were living in the Payson apartment mm -hmm. and I was extremely sick. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That was bad, dude. I got a serious case of food poisoning from that. Fucking miss that Cajun from that place. Cajun place. That just, place was so damn good. Yeah, but it's like 50 50 whether you're gonna die of like fucking botulism or some shit. Oh, dude, it was bad. Like, <clears throat> I was so sick, I sneezed so hard, I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, not in the bathroom. I was trying to go to sleep and I went, I oh. shit myself. Like, well, uh, absolutely shit myself. That's so well, funny. Pro pro probably a better alternative than uh, shitting and coming. That's yeah, very, very, true. very true. Hey, I mean, at least I get a little reward out of that. That's this very time, true. I gotta... <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I gotta glue the front and the back. Oh, shit. No, that was that. That house, I never slept upstairs in that house. No? I had a, the one night I slept up there, I had a weird ass dream, and then I talked to Evan about it, and he, I don't know if he was fucking with me or if he was being serious, but he said he's had, he saw that exact thing that I yeah. saw. And he was, what, what did you see up there? Like, he, I think, if I remember right, it was just this white bit, like, a white girl with a white dress on. That was it. And Shit. he said he saw the same thing, too, like, walking up the stairs. And I was like, fuck that. Guarantee Hell. he was fucking with you. I, well, maybe. maybe. Hey, well, he never... brought it up first. That was oh, the did. thing. I, oh. I was like, yeah, I don't like sleeping upstairs. And then he brought that up. And then mm -hmm. I was like, oh, shit, that's what I saw. Mm -hmm. So. See, so, like, I don't know. I... Like, that place gives me just gives that me one. Energy. See that one for me now. The duplexes that my dad owns, they're pacing. I've, I've never been in those ones. Those ones are one hundred percent haunted. Like Where are those I've, ones at? Uh, they're heading down. So you know when you're headed towards, uh, towards Liberty Safe. Yeah. So you're heading there before you go into the overpass. I think it was right. dilapidated one. Oh no no no! Never mind, never mind. Never mind. No, but it's a du a duplex. And so if you're no, because there's no way to turn right. You mean left? If you're going towards Liberty Safe. Well, no, because you're going towards Liberty Safe, but before you go under the freeway, there's a street shortly before that. Oh, okay, yeah. You hang right. You go over like two two blocks or so, and then like it's kind of like the middle of that that section of pace yeah. in there, kind of behind ish um, McDonald's and whatnot. Not not, not that the, close. Not the new apartments, obviously. No, 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 no. no. Like in that. But one. Oh, um, he's got okay. a duplex over there, and that oh, one is 100 percent haunted. Like. Never had issues at uh, the, uh, what's it called? At the, um, okay. Uh, at the motel house. Uh, motel, yeah, I've got to say ne never, never had issues there. Okay. But those other ones, 100%, every single time you work there alone, you feel like someone's watching your back. Oh, hell Every no. single time. And you can ask Simon about it. Simon does the same thing. Mm -hmm. He won't, he won't paint in there at night. Neither will I. Really? Really. We just, it just, it, it's like a feeling of dread that just like keeps growing and oh, growing and growing, no. and growing and growing and growing and growing and growing until you're like, fuck it, I'm going home. I'm going home. Uh, this isn't worth whatever I'm getting paid. Dude, we should, oh, we should do our first like, like non-game, or maybe we could do it for my channel if I started mm -hmm. up. Like if nobody's staying there, we should go fuck around. Mm -hmm. If you're down, I'm down. No? Like, oh. Is it that bad? You go is look it? for trouble, you're going to find trouble. <laughs> very, very, very true. Yeah, this, this, like, no, well, I, I'd, I'd go there and do like ghost hunting shit. I'll ask That's my, what I'm saying. I'll ask, like, I'll ask no, my buddy, no, we, no Ouija board. No, fuck oh, no, that. No, I'll, no, I'll ask my buddy Claude to come with his uh, ghost box. That would be, that would be actually kind of fun. Because he does, because he has, I mean, well, and honestly, like, we did like ghost hunting shit, but like, that one was creepy. That one was creepy. That, that, that house, like I said, like, like the, the patient, the, the motel house, no. never had an issue. I, I mean, I've worked there overnight before, like painting, revamping, doing all kinds of shit, no, replace no the issues. bathroom, even in the basement apartment. No, no I don't problems. think I've ever been in the basement apartment, but I know in the upstairs, there is that little tiny staircase that goes to that little storage area. And that that kind of used to give me the creeps. Which one? The Payson one. The oh, like, like downstairs where the boiler is? Yeah, because there's like a whole bunch of it, it's unfinished, but it's part of the upstairs because it doesn't. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There's like shelves and shit yeah, down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, never. That gives me heebie jeebies. That one? Mm -hmm. Oh fuck no, dude. That place is just a place of like pain and suffering and shit. Like hauling that boiler out of there. That's a motherfucker. That oh, thing's heavy. Oh, I bet. Like, like, see, and that that's the crazy thing. Like most, like those those places, like oh, um, never. Oh. Like my uh, um. Like oh, I, work, I I spent more time like like working in those places, mm -hmm. so like for me I always associated it with like that, like oh 
I was, had to paint this shit. I had yeah. to replace this carpet. Oh, I remember all that trash that tenant left in there? Yeah. Yeah, that was a pain in the ass. That's why, like, the, the duplexes over there were are such an anomaly. Because, like, spent so much time cleaning up. Yeah. So much time painting in there. Replacing carpet. Uh, redoing kitchen shit. Like, changing out shit underneath the... Uh, um, what's it called? Like like the sinks, right? Like, like, like plumbing um, and shit. But, like, that's the only one that, like... If I'm working there at night, forget about it. Like, is it? like the, the sun goes down and it's an immediate feeling of dread. Oh, as you're so like, and you can again, you can ask Simon. Like Simon's like felt the same shit. Like we'd be like, um, we'd be there, right, painting. Late is somebody like, living in it now? I think like it, tenants come and go. I guess go. probably are, but um, like we just like we'd be there. Um, especially if you're there with someone, it's not so bad, but if you're there like alone, it's just like, you feel like someone's watching. You're always like, you know, I mean, I'm kind of already doing that anyway, uh -huh. but, but like there it, it's like, you feel it and then you're like, fuck, come on, man. And then like, you just keep going and then it just gets stronger, stronger and stronger I and stronger. I don't like that. It's, oh, it's not great at all. And you're just sitting there and you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta get this paint do this tomorrow night right and this is like and like, like i said like simon like simon, not late at night at all right like you're saying as soon as the sun is as soon as the sun goes down as soon as it gets dark outside i hate i don't like working outside of that house when when the sun goes down i i don't because like there's these windows there in the bottom floor yeah that you always oh, feel like something's like oh, looking up at you no every time at, with you. without fail like without fail i don't like working outside and i like i've worked there since i was a little kid like in like even then it was like no. one time well one time it was daytime and i was on the roof and i was like i was fixing the swamp cooler and like I had my old like flip phone or whatever, or it was my slider, and I dropped it, and it started sliding towards the edge. So I like dove and grabbed it, and then like grabbed the, the gutter like this. <laughs> I was like 17. That was fucking crazy. But like, yeah, I don't, I don't fuck around with those places at night. Like, I don't, like, um, I don't know. I, I think Zeke says the same thing. Like he won't go in there at night either. Like it's just, it's just like, cause like everywhere else, like. Like, my dad had these uh, apartments up in Provo that were like, real, like if there was a hundred places there, and you those, know, was luck. Those two? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Like, like those ones, if, if there was gonna be one, it would be that one because it was like, there was a psychic shop next door. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so like, you had the psychic shop and then like, there was like one, two, three, four um, apartments in there. And it is an old structure, really, really old and like, even that one. No so those problems. ones right off the freeway exit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Those yeah. are gone now, right? Oh yeah. Those ones are terrible. I hate like I hated working in those for like a completely different reason. Yeah. They had this uh, what's it called? This chain link fence, and it always, here. always had shit stuck in it. And my job was to go pick up the trash and everything. People would just trash the place. Like Zeke will tell you. One time. The sewer backed up in the basement, and there were like that much raw sewage just floating down there. And he had to like go. And Zeke had to go clean that one. I missed. I missed the bus on that one, so I was good. But like he had to clean all that shit up, literally. That's gross. Oh, it was hairy. He said it was. He said it was awful. So besides the hospital, is there like any of these scary ass stories, like your scary experiences? I don't go. Have? I don't go in the orchard at night. Really. Don't like, and, and it's not because of like a single experience, but like the problem with being in the orchard at night, you can get lost. Well, it's less that than the way the light comes in from whatever source. Mm -hmm. So, like, for example, you're if you're let's say you're walking through a forest, okay, you have peripheral vision, right? You're gonna be seeing things, but you're not gonna have a clear vision of it light comes behind a tree you're gonna look right Instantly. constantly and it's an orchard it's all fucking trees you're gonna do that um one time i was out there let's see which part where was i there, there was one experience that one was weird i i'm 90 percent sure it was like a wind machine making this noise 90 percent sure sounded like a scream it's like a rah. I like that shit but it was like out uh where was I? 
because we had just gotten done fixing fixing the wind machine. Um, shit. Hard. So, um, as you leave the farm and head east, there's a section of orchard that was there that's been torn up and that's recently been replanted. There's really small trees there. It was that section. But it was just like out there and there's like roads all around. It's not like the most rural part of the farm, but it is like out there. And it's like, I'm gonna go fucking home. So that was, that was, uh, it was like super early in the morning. So it was like probably four, four yeah, or something. Or, and it was, and it was like. How long ago was this? That was probably, oh, fuck me, probably like 2006. I was gonna say maybe it was my dad trapped inside, but I would like to start trapping shit. Yeah, like, yeah, because like that's, yeah, yeah. But I don't, I don't like going in the orchard at night. The farm's super haunted. Oh, okay. like, yeah, I have tons of experiences there. Like, like I go out and like be working early in the paint room, mm -hmm. and like shit would fall off the shelf like all the time. Like it would just go off. Oh, 100%. And like one time I was back in there, it was when we were redoing it, painting it, and uh, like it just kept happening. It just kept happening. And finally I was like, I, I, I like I was just sitting, I was like, turn around, I was like, fucking hell. Are you just gonna keep doing that shit? Get the fuck out of here. And I just kept doing it. That's stopped. funny. It stopped. That's funny. Like Simon had some wild ones from uh um from the farm. He's like Because he's out there all the time. Yeah, uh -huh, he lives in, like right next door. Yeah. Um, there was a, uh, there was one morning where he said he was like, so it was during, uh, during sweet cherry season. So you know how like the sweet cherry line gets set up temporarily. Yes. Right. So it's set up and he was like, it was really early. And so he was he, like, he'd made it like, um, uh, pulled a load from the freezer, had it out, stayed ready, ready to go. go. And he was walking down to do the paperwork for it. Hey, here's gold, gold, like, and it was over um, on the wall from the the tool room to the to there. He heard like, and and he honestly thought someone was in there, like, like pounding, in, like um, in the tool room, right? Like our yeah. break room, right? That area. Yeah, yeah, just hit, hitting the the cinder block, and that because that's it, what it sounded like. It sounded like, like like dull. Yeah, like someone hitting it with their hand. So he's like, oh, what the fuck are they doing in there? So he goes in. Lights are off. It's got motion lights and all that shit. Goes in. Nothing. Right. He's like, holy shit, that's fucking creepy. And then, um, like, uh, the freezer. Oh. There, there's a lot of, he's, he said he's had a lot of, like, things, like, where he'll be, like, driving. You know, like, see shit. Oh, definitely. The but, freezer's fucking creep me out. Yeah. He, I can't tell you, growing up, I worked there from the time I was nine years old until I was 29. Mm -hmm. 28. And, no, I was 29. And, uh. Find the mission. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I can't tell you how many times Simon locked me in the fucking freezer. Yeah, Ben locked me in the fucking freezer oh, when yeah. I was like five. Mm -hmm. That shit scared the hell out of me. I think it was mm -hmm. coming down from the sweet line. I think it was one, two, or I think it was two, and that is the, that's the big one, right? Uh, two, no, two is the double one. Yeah, that scared me completely. Okay. No so, lights or nothing. Uh -huh. Like he's like, walk in there, tell me what you see, and I'm like, can't hey, it's pitch black in here? I can't see, and then just <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Obviously, I didn't sit up. I just screamed. Yeah. It, it, it like pitch black. Dude. The uh, room two and three, uh -huh. or sorry, room two and three are together. Right. Room yeah. four is like the massive one. Right. But like. But I don't think when did room four? When was was it? Has it always been there? No, no. It got built in the seventies. Or in, the, or in the 80s. Okay, so it might have been that one. It might have been that one. But it's the big one. It's the single one. But like room two and three. So those ones, I, um, I, I always like. I never, I never like working in those ones. I all, I don't like the rafters. Oh hell no! Like I really don't like. I always feel like something's watching me from there. Oh definitely. Or, yeah. Well, the, the rafters. Right, like oh. so you know up like you can see the the joists like the the uh, the wood going like along. Along there. Well, is this in the breezeway? No, no, in the in rooms two and three. Two and three. It's like up above. So. Oh, oh. Um, is it, is it like right behind the fans? Either behind the fans, there's the catwalk, or there was the catwalk, but then like up above on the ceiling. There's okay, like those, I think I know. So yeah, like all right. So here's here's something like irrational fear type shit, yeah. right? 
So um, when I was a kid, the big reason why I think someone's watching me from there is because one time I went in there and Simon and Luis were like, um, like Luis was up above, check because you had to go up and like check a lot of, uh, of cherries, pull a bucket, give them a no lot number, bring it down, kind of like just so you pull samples for different customers. So um, I went in there and Simon had had left, and I went in there to see what was going on. And I look up and I see his face looking down at me from up up there in the rafters, and it was fucking Luis well, scared the shit out of me. Right? He wasn't even intending. He was just like looking or see who was down there. It's like fuck. Right. Was it like, was there were the lights on at least or something? Yeah, yeah, the lights are on, but like you're up there in the rafters and it's oh, and it's dark. Yeah, it's pretty dark. It's so pretty dark. Ir irrational fear, okay? Because like as Luis got older, I had to go up there. Yeah. So in that freezer, so room four, you can stack really high. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and on top I can still stand up all the way. Uh -huh. Right? Not that it's advisable, but you know, you have to go up, you have to like get into the, the pallet so Simon would say, Okay, go in four pallets and then just grab grab the bucket so i just go in and like kind of you know shimmy it up and like like carry it to the edge and bring up the pallet and do and put it there so um irrational but in in rooms two and three because of those rafters it's up like that you can't stand up and it's like a tunnel yes oh. irrational fear looking down there seeing something crawling at me stupid like like completely dumb and there's no fucking escape no there's not no that, you're 30 that's feet not. you're 30 feet in the air that is a total rational theory. That is scary. See, see, shit. Yeah, right, because deck down at the end of the tunnel, it's dark as fuck. <laughs> right? So, like, sometimes I'd have to go back there and shit. grab them and do that. Now, Should be back Gavin went, went into one that, like, one area where I would never go. I've never done that, and he did it for Greg. And I was like, what are you, so, what is it? Um, ah. you know how outside, outside of the freezers, oh, it's plywood. Okay. 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 Plywood, then the roof. He went into the gap in there. So he went up and had to crawl through that and run wires for Greg. Because he was small. That. <sighs> yeah, he, he went up. He, he said it wasn't too bad. Another one. Um, so, like, growing up, growing up there, there's like all kinds of creepy shit. Yeah. Right? Right. Tons of creepy shit. I was just blowing his nose over there. I scared the fuck out of him right now. Yeah. It's alright, we'll go fight it. <laughs> we'll go fight it. So, alright. Shit, 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 shit. See that, exactly. That's the kind of shit that like, like at the farm is like, like, okay, it's creepy shit, I'm gonna go to it. Yeah, like, creepy like, shit, but it's pissing me the fuck right, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it, and I'm gonna stare at it, and I'm gonna go fight it. I don't give a shit. Anyway, so, creepy fucking area. So, uh, how old was I? Oh, I think I was... Nice. I think I was 11. Um, so, um, I don't know if you ever saw this, but um, you know, down next to room four, uh, there's a wrapping machine. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the wrapping oh. machine you got stuck that in? I, that I almost died on it, too, <laughs> as well, right? Oh, I totally forgot. That, was, I was, I was dying was when that happened, too. So, so I was itty bitty. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's all right. But did you die? Yeah. Anywho, so there's an opening in the bottom there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there, underneath all the freezers, there's shafts going from one side to the other, okay? Oh. So on the exterior, on the back side of, of them, there's usually another opening where we would put one of those giant fans, bolt it in and turn it on to help with the air circulation, to help it cool off faster. Yeah. So down inside of there would accumulate shit. So when I was 11, I had to go in there with a broom and crawl underneath like <laughs> under so under the freezer okay it's so just it's freezing cold in there so it's freezing cold it's just concrete it's dark as fuck can't see anything didn't give you a flashlight or anything uh i had a flashlight but like i had to use my hands to like sweep yeah yeah to sweep so not great lighting so um i couldn't see the other end so at that time the other end was completely closed so we'd sealed it off to make sure that like, so Definitely, nothing- Nothing got out. Right, okay. yeah, I know, right, I know. So like, so it's just, it, it's essentially like, um, it just goes in and it's just essentially just a, a channel. Probably, honestly, probably about the size of that opening right there. Like, like the, yeah, so there, so I crawled in there, just kind of swept, swept it back. Thinking about all this past stuff, mm -hmm. you need to watch a show or a movie on 
HBO called Barbarian Dude. Mm -hmm. No, uh, definitely not around the kids. Uh -huh. You will rethink everything you have done in those tunnels, dude. Holy fuck, oh, that I, is I, a scary ass movie. Oh, I rethink all that shit. Like, okay, what if there was a raccoon down there? What if there was a fucking skunk down there? There were definitely mice down there. Oh, definitely. Rats so, too. So, like, I, I stomped a few mice while I was down there. And, like, I was 11 and I was really small. Yeah. So, I was, like, just sweeping it out. And, like, um, then I got to the, uh, then I got back to the end and Simon had put a pallet on top of it. Like oh, a dick. okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, and I, like, that was, oh, let's, let's do this. Okay. One. So, this one, um, technically, I think. One of the follower, uh, one that egged follow, um, the egg that we got recently hasn't technically hatched yet, not mm -hmm. that I'm aware of. Uh, but this one is uh, about when you hatch new followers. Yeah. So let's do the born of sin. Like yeah. So like the other one, you just get loyalty. Uh, that's the one I picked, and yeah. that, that like boosts their um, like levels like really fast. Really. Yeah, that one might be useful, especially in future DLCs. Yeah, yeah, let's do that one. Okay. Now, out there, it's like, there's a lot of creepy shit. Like, it, and and the thing is, like, I would always like. So when I worked there, most of the time, I'd get, I'd be the first one there, last one to leave. Either myself or Simon, right? Like Simon was like always there. Um, but you know, like there'd just be. Like like creepy shit. I'm trying to trying to think. Like down in the down in the breezeway, that was always a kind of a creepy spot. I know yeah. Tanner, you said it's creepy down there. Uh, where? Down the breezeway. I thought you said you didn't like it, or, you, or is it just because you didn't like sweeping it? Um, I don't know. My the, the farm's like a fuzzy memory to me now. now That's years. Good. That's a good thing though. Yeah, yeah. Put it behind us. Um, but no, I whenever I would take garbage down the breezeway. I, mm -hmm. Always felt like because you kind of like look down there, like something's over there. No, honest to goodness, like, breezeway Simon would just hide his pornos out there. That was his shit, really. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it has his porno mags. Like, you know, those like pallet holders that were down there, uh, that was stacked up on the left hand side. Yeah, yeah, he just stored in there. It's, funny shit. it's like, why don't you put it in your office, dumbass? Or, like, me being a dumbass and jumping in the trash and pack and pack the garbage down. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's showing us shave. No, it's bad. It's bad. Yeah. That trash compactor needs to be revamped. Oh, the trash compactor. Yeah, yeah, I there, hate there, that fucking thing. There's no lockout tag out with it. There's like... And now I didn't know that. I thought if yeah. you... No, if you have the gate open, you can't run it. I found I found that out because right. I was trying to run it without the gate. So every time I got down there, the gate was Good. Open, Good. Held open. Right. Way open. Yeah, you just keep the trash can in the way. Yep. Yeah, I would never get down in there. I was like, nope. Oh, well, I guess it's not going. Yep. Yeah. So or use a broom to push it in, but I mm -hmm. always never. I never had a broom with me. Ever. Yeah. So I just jump down there. I I wouldn't jump. Let's say I wouldn't jump down in there. I would just get on top of the stuff and push it and hold mm -hmm. onto the gate. So that's good. I still don't trust that thing. No, I don't either. I was, I was there when it was built. You don't. Don't. don't, don't <laughs> exactly. Well, much. like oh, I like make and that's the thing is like. There wasn't, I don't know. There was, there was a lot of like creepy shit. <laughs> I'll, I'll, juice. I'll, <clears throat> I'll key up the poop juice. See how many people are like. To it. I think. Uh, oh yeah, and also cook up. Creep, dude. Uh, some poop. Camping, oh. like camping trips, or sometimes like going to new areas are some of the mm -hmm. scariest shit. Yeah, like I. Uh, um, something that I don't like is sleeping outside under the stars and there being trees above me. You don't like trees? Fuck trees. <laughs> Shit climbs trees. True. That's like, very true. I always had this like image in my head open my eyes and there's like someone up in the tree. <clears throat> that's like, I, that's dude, like there and that's... it's like, as a kid I didn't have a gun. If I had a gun, <laughs> bang. And just my, like move so I don't avoid the body. That's my irrational fear. Like when you're in a setting that nobody else should be, mm -hmm. that scares the living shit mm -hmm. out of me. Like if animals, animals normal. are supposed to be there. Animals yep. are supposed to be there. There was one camping trip. We went down to Boulder, uh -huh. and my scoutmaster was like, "Okay, guys, a lot of people come here, but there are a shit ton of bears out here." And we're like, mm -hmm. "Okay, okay." Mm -hmm. Get out one night to piss, and I look over, and there's like. 
12 like big figures and I'm like oh. so I sprint up to my leader's tent and I'm like bear bear and he's like he shines his flashlight over and there's fucking cows and I'm like oh. <laughs> you know cows are big yeah so at first like I could see like the sunlight was or the moonlight was coming down mm -hmm. like I could see yeah, shapes yeah you see the rounds that, oh, that, someone's I was, fighting. Uh, come on. Nope. But it was scary as shit, dude. That, that, but like, like we're saying, people in settings they should not be yep. in is terrifying. Like, on top of a, top of a pine tree, I would mm -hmm. lose my fucking shit. Yeah. That would be terrible. Even with a gun, I'd be like. Nah. It's like, it's like, hello there. <laughs> hello. Hey, uh, do you know what the velocity of a 45 <laughs> round is? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just exercising myself. Don't, don't worry. Fear not, my friend. Fear not, my... <laughs> Fear not, my friend. I'll get you out of that tree. <laughs> Start screaming at you. Throw a pine coming at it. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I don't know if it's... Like, people, I automatically think of skin. Mm -hmm. Instantly. Oh, yeah. Because my grandpa grew up on the res. My dad lived on the res for a while. And he says, mm -hmm. in, like, Native Americans do not fuck with no so crazy story with those so a guy I work with um, he was on his mission in Brazil during COVID he got they they brought him back stateside mm -hmm. and he finished it up in North Dakota oh, so shit. he so pretty wild change but anywho so he was there and he I, and so like of course I'm gonna ask him like he was on the resident I was like I was like hey man you know like any any skinwalker stories and shit. And he, so I was working with him uh, at the hospital, this go around. And he's like, he's like, none, he's like, none that I saw. That's the way he put it. Um, but he's like, he's like, so we've been talking with this guy for a while, right? Pretty cool guy, right? His house was like right on the edge of this uh, big old like cornfield, right? Big old cornfield mm. behind him. And so he's like, so I'm like, hey, I think this is how he's trying. I was like, so we walk up to the door and we knock and, you know, we're just sitting there busying with him, you know, like he's trying to just talk to him. And all of a sudden he like looks behind us, eyes go like this, looks up, slams the door and runs. You hear, go, 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 like running through his house. And they're like, <laughs> and so he's like, he's like, they're just standing there like, huh. And so they kind of like look behind him, they don't see shit. And they're like, they like go to the, cause they had like this, like out there, they had like this little Toyota Tacoma and they're like, mm. just, just like drive away. Mm. They're like, mm -mm. yeah, mm -mm. they never talked to that guy again. Mm -mm. Like they just didn't go back. Mm -mm. He's like, he's like, yeah, I don't fuck with that. No he's like, way. he's like, I like it. So he's like, I don't know if it was skinwalkery, but he's like, guys just talking, you know, or just like having a good time. Like, like looks up, like, oh. like. Like, like higher than the cornfield. Higher than the cornfield. Oh, that like, makes my skin. Like level cornfield here. Mm -hmm. That right? makes my skin crawl, yeah. dude. Creepy, no. creepy shit. Hell and then like, cause no. like him was kind of looking at each other, like, <laughs> like that. And then they like fucking take off. He's like, I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. out of here. Yeah, they're like, like even being on a mission. That's he that's, said. He's like, he's like, we didn't run. <laughs> we didn't run, just. But we walked very fast. <laughs> I'm like, damn, that's wild shit. But yeah, he had yeah. He he's like that was like the that was like the only one. But just, yeah, I don't fuck with that. No, that 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 type of super, supernatural mm -hmm. stuff, dude. Mm -hmm. That's oh. a, that's like old old world magic shit. Nah, no. that or voodoo. I don't fuck with no, voodoo, man. Scary uh -uh, no way. Uh, -uh. Again, old world magic shit. I don't fuck like with that. Ouija boards, voodoo. Yeah. yeah. I even Hard I pass. outside, I do not whistle any time of day. That that. Like that, that that's, that's the, the lore behind them. If you whistle outside at night, you're fucked. I can't you're whistle, so, that okay. I'm, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I'm retarded when they're. He's got one leg straight on the other. It's like running in circles. You're like, oh, oh, come on, come on. You know what? Here, you can get me. You can get me here. It's, it's okay, but no, I'm gonna do it myself. One of the one of the actual ones is like, we call him Nemo. One of the <laughs> I have a special claw. <laughs> oh, oh, that's yeah. funny. But if you say their name outside, okay. or in general, mm -hmm. at least, if you whistle at night mm -hmm. outside, specifically outside. Mm -hmm. 
according to the lore, yeah. like if you're in an area with them, you're fucked. Yeah. So Again, don't, fucked. don't know how to whistle, so. Hey, so, like, Border Patrol shit? Oh, like, you're gonna see some shit. Tons of that. Like, oh, you're gonna see some shit. There's an entire book written about supernatural encounters by Border Patrol agents. Is it? Like, can I find it? I've got it on Audible. I haven't I haven't had the balls to listen to it yet. <laughs> Yeah, like I'm, over I'm, over a thirty year career, this guy collected all the weird stories from all the wow. sectors. That's like um, missing four one one. I love that book, or not the book, but like Mr. Mr. Ballin's doing that. Oh yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So like th- this one, like uh, um, there's there's one that uh, the barber was showing was showing me. Like this uh, this agent, he worked a good chunk of his career in El Paso. Okay. Like, um, so he, uh, oh damn, it's almost 11. But he, he worked most of his career in El Paso and he like talked about like all these like stories. Don't throw up in the booth. There was a, uh, like, he said this one agent was driving. Um, so he was, he's going along and like, he's in this this kind of like ravine. Like right out here basically, yeah, the road. Yeah, so road's going through it, you know, winding through. And he's like, something jumped from the side there, landed in the back of his truck the back of his truck bottomed out, oh. okay, sprang up, and then bottomed out again as it jumped over to the other side. And it, like he found two huge handprints, hand handprints, handprints like oh. Bigfoot type shit in the back on the on the oh, on the roof because like he felt it. He's like, what the fuck? And by the time he turned around, it bounced, like but did it, again? it like gone again. Oh hell like, no! He's, like and the guy was like, yeah, he returned to base like super quick after that. He oh, was like, it was like you know what? They can come in today. Yeah, can. I'm gonna come. They can come in today. I don't care. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm gonna go back. Man, I found two giant hands. Because, like, my first instinct, I came to be a big ass, dumb ass mountain elk. lion, elk, or something. Like, so, so, or like even a cow, like, like running a, over, like, like in a. I mean, it was a pretty steep ravine. Yeah, pretty steep ravine. You know. Handprints, dude. Yeah, handprints on, like, like, on, the, on the top. Yeah. And then like your your average like you know skinwalker shit. You know, like see seeing things like. Oh wolf, look! This, the eggs about to hatch. Look! Like wolves chasing and what? Oh, look at him! Oh, look at him go! Oh, he's kind of... He's got uh, kind of fucking be ugly, you know? He got like a... He's got a, An nuts. extra set of eyes and like a, a mouth for a head? That's some inbreeding shit right What's there. What's a... What are those tumors with hair and teeth called? What are they, what are they called? Oh... Fuck. Conjoint? What? No, no, there's tumors. Like, you can grow tumors that have teeth and hair. And they grow in your body. I'm gonna look it up. Like a bot fly? Oh no, no no! Wow, what what a way to uh, end? Okay, not like that. Uh, to end tonight's session of actually uh, hatching a baby. Nice. A teratoma. That's what it's called. Teratoma. All right. Yeah. Uh, I think we can uh, call it a night. Because they're right here. Thank goodness. Um, so, sorry. What? What teeth growing on heads? Is that what you're looking up? <laughs> oh my god! Is it? Are they pretty They're, bad? That's nasty. You know, we're not. We're not doing. Are they that. pretty bad? They're bad. Come on, They're come bad. on. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll finish it out. We'll finish it out. Okay. Well, uh, we're gonna stop. What's called to the lamb right here? I think at this point with the sins of the flesh DLC, it's just kind of like, kind of filler stuff. I don't know, cause like I haven't beaten that DLC on my personal save file. If anything special happens when I play that on my own time, we can play more of this, but otherwise I think we can move on to other games now. So let us know in the comments, what other games you want to see us play. If you enjoy our content, click subscribe, ring the bell, leave a like and a comment. And also if you want some merch, you can head over to thegamenightshop.etsy.com and we will see you tomorrow night. Good night. Good night. Bye.